It's the most special place to play tennis. I think as a kid when you're growing up, you want to play on, on these historic courts and you can really feel the history when you walk through the grounds. Playing Murray uh, here on Centre Court in 2016, it's an experience that you know, I'll savour for a long, long time, um, but hopefully I can create a few more opportunities where I can put myself on the biggest stage. I'm playing Milos Raonic in the next round, round two at Wimbledon. Really big test. He's obviously got one of the greatest serves uh, in the world and these conditions are quite hot here and, and quite quick. It's going to be a really stern challenge, but I look forward to it. I think that's why you play tennis. You want to challenge yourself against the best players and, and Milos is definitely one of them on the surface. Staying in a little flat in Wandsworth. I'm here with Dad. I always fly him over for this trip. Mum. She came over for the first time I was in Wimbledon main draw. Her stomach can't handle the nerves. He loves it and he plays every point with me. And it's why I play tennis, to be honest with you, is uh, so my friends and family can enjoy the experience. It gives me great confidence coming into Wimbledon at a career high, uh, 56 in the world. I've always uh, had the belief that my ranking can continually improve if, if I can keep my body right. And luckily this year I've had no major injuries. I've always got a few niggling pains that have caused me to withdraw in a, in a few tournaments. On the whole, I haven't been kept out for too long this season and, and I think uh, that's been proving uh, with the results and, and, and they work hand in hand. If I can stay on court, I, I can get my ranking a little bit higher. I made my first ATP final this year in, in Budapest and, and it was such a pleasure playing some good tennis there and I think the crowd really helped me. They seemed to take a liking to me early on and I kind of kept that momentum going and just fell short at that final hurdle but definitely it gave me confidence moving forward. Aix-en-Provence was one of the biggest challenges I've won and one that, that continues to give me confidence that I can compete well. I am 29 now and um, I'm no spring chicken anymore but I think when you reflect and, and you look back on it, uh, these are some pretty special moments that you're going to take with you and hopefully I can get a few snapshots of my head of, of places uh, like this, of Wimbledon and, and competing on this stage and I can take that with me for, for when I finish.